happy friday everybody tire metalhead weatherman here hopefully everyone's doing well in regards to the elephant in the room which is going to be that severe setup a lot has been changing with that and we're still going to be seeing changes even at the time of this video so we're actually going to refrain from talking about it today we're going to probably talk about it in tomorrow afternoon's video because by that point we'll start to gain a little bit more clarity as we get closer into range this thing's been going crazy on models. It's been uptrending, it's downtrending. And with the weekend forecast coming up, I'm not trying to make a 25 minute video for you guys, especially since I actually have good news. It's gonna be a nice weekend. So we're gonna just go ahead and bypass the bad news for right now. And we'll deal with that tomorrow. But for right now, here's a look at the severe weather for this weekend. And the best part is there's none. With that ridge that we have been talking about coming in, it's going to just make things pretty calm for the weekend entirely. There could be a couple spots where we see a little bit of a clipper system action there, maybe a little bit of rain, snow over towards, let's say, maybe the far northern states like Minnesota or maybe towards the Ohio Valley where we might get a quick little burst of snow. But outside of that, really nothing to talk about. Mainly towards the northeast is where we're going to be dealing with more action. And of course, this is getting further into the week that I've been because I was just kind of looking at that before the start of the video. But even to start out the week weekend, though, if you look at the uh, likelihood of a uh, significant winter weather, don't really see too much of anything. Like I said, it's this little clipper system. And even then, the probabilities are very low for that to be the case in the uh, early run here says a lot. So less than 40 percent likelihood within the first couple of days. I like those odds that means that we aren't going to see anything of major significance it's really not until we get those until uh the 42 hour mark which would be sunday afternoon where we start to get those higher values over here and that's going to be over towards the mountains in washington and that's going to continue to persist throughout the rest of that weekend here so really maybe one day here where we might get some inclement weather here but for the most part it's going to be rather calm there as well so like i said a lot to look forward to this weekend i'm sure a lot of us would love a break from the snow those of us who had to deal with it and anyone who's been dealing with the cold might get a nice little break for you as well still might be a couple of spots here and there that are going to be cold there's going to be a little bit of a trough that has some leftover energy that's going to drop the temperatures briefly but it's not going to be significant enough to where it affects your entire weekend you're going to recover rather quickly from it unless you're far up into new england i would say and here's that ridge building in especially towards the end of this uh three-day period here so overall if we really think about it especially if you're towards the uh, southern plain states this would be an ideal weekend for you to go outside have a pip picnic barbecue go fishing it's that kind of weekend man so happy to deliver some good news because if only this would last because right towards the middle next week of course we'll be pretty busy over here and i'm pretty sure you know why so if we go ahead and take a look at our precipitation here we're going to go ahead and just take a look at that clipper system first that's coming through. It's a pretty quick moving system, so I wouldn't expect much in the way of snowfall. And the snow looks like it could be moderate at best. Nothing uh, significant showing there. Could see maybe a tiny little sliver of snow here towards the Appalachians possibly. And then after that, like I said, it's pretty calm. Maybe towards the uh, Dakotas, maybe uh, Minnesota, we could get a little quick burst of snow, but it's not going to be long lasting. And then over here towards the Rockies, of course, we have a little bit of that activity over here and towards the far northern mountains around Washington and, of course, Montana. Looking at the temperatures, because that's, if anything, that will be somewhat of a key component to this story here, so to speak. We'll mainly see some pretty warm temperatures. Like you, like I said, we'll see this little dive here of cold air, but like I said, it's not really gonna last too heavily unless you're pretty far up to the north here. Especially once that clipper system passes, we're gonna see that cold air retreat really fast. And then before we know it, we're gonna be in the 40s and 50s over here towards the Ohio Valley. 
with that snow likely melting by the end of Sunday. And then over here towards the southeast, we're getting into the 50s and 60s because that trough will affect you a little bit. It'll bring those morning temperatures down in particular. But beyond that point, it's not going to be anything serious. And then beyond that point for the west even, we're looking pretty good. Getting into the 40s and 50s towards the higher elevations, maybe we could be hitting those freezing temperatures. But beyond that point, not really too much to be concerned with there on that end. So last but not least, and this is probably going to be one of the quicker videos I've done on the channel, is we're going to just quickly take a look at what the snowfall totals could be. Like I said, over towards the Ohio Valley, about an inch or two of snow is possible there. Up towards the mountains is where we're going to have the uh, grand totals where we could get up to about maybe two feet towards the highest elevations over towards washington idaho and montana but outside of that the valleys might get up to about one to two inches four inches isn't out the question but i wouldn't expect too much out of that then towards the very end of this time frame here we may start to see some lake effect snow coming in from the storm and a little bit of extra snow here for the northern reaches of the uh, u.s canadian border here towards the northeast and this will eventually pick up as we get into the week but that's it for this weekend pretty uh nice weekend for a lot of us at times it could be chilly but it's not going to be anything that will hamper your weekend significantly if you want to especially if you're over towards the south might be a good weekend to go out and grill. Maybe keep the uh, long sleeves on just in case, depending on where you are. If you're over towards Texas, you have nothing to worry about. Go out in the short sleeves rocket. But either way, that being said, hope you guys enjoy this weekend's weather. We'll be talking about the severe weather threat tomorrow and uh, all the changes that have been going on with that over the last 48 and probably what will lead into 72 hours. But until then, you guys enjoy the weekend. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Until then, Tire Metalhead Weatherman signing off. Have a good day.